Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about service based interface protocol. We know that 5G generation architecture is unique in very different way actually. Normally 3GPP follow the same model development for the 2G, 3G and 4G but in the 5G net network we can see we have a different reference point core architecture and we have a different protocol and call flow that we studied in the different uh, previous one actually. So here we can see that 5G network basically based on service based interface and API and this one follows with the help of control plane interface within the 5G core network with different different network functions we have like uh, N AMF, NRF, NSSF, NA user. So we have a different type of service based interface and we have also the reference point interface that we have like in the 5G n1 n2 n3 so in this model we can see how the 5g protocol is different than uh, lt protocol core network protocol like 4g epc we don't have any specialized protocol like diameter gtpc etc in the control plane in 5g and all the communication between the different network function based on REST based API framework that is also called Open API 3.0 or JSON for serialization, TCP, HTTP2 method like that we can use for the POST, PUT, GET, DELETE, PATCH and for the API transportation. Today I am going to discuss about only HTTP2 in this class. Next time we will discuss about QUIC, TCP, TLS, IP network and L1, L2 and JSON in detail. So what are the advantage for this protocol HTTP protocol here we can see. So advantage for this protocol we have HTTP2 which is a standard protocol which we can use in many cloud native web application and it will reduce the time to implement anything in 5G very fast. Why HTTP is important? So HTTP may be one of the most well known protocol in the today world. So where we are using HTTP right now? So HTTP we are using for the data communication on internet where, where we are using for this HTTP to access the surf the web, web browsing actually. So HTTP is the newcomer in the 3GPP family and with the help of HTTP we can provide better services so like in 2g 3g 4g control plane totally rely on heavily on uh, gtp control plane map and diameter in the core network but in the 5g core plane uh, completely rely on based on http protocol so 3gpp introduced this http2 protocol in ietf ref7540 and that we are going to use for the service based interface so what are the main objective for the HTTP? So the main objective of HTTP2 was to improve the performance in order to provide a better experience for the web users. So what are the benefits as compared to the HTTP normal one? So here we can get full multiplexing of request and response, support of compression of HTTP header field to minimize the protocol overhead and also support for the request prioritization and server push so these are the benefits for the http protocol so here this is the right side we can see that this is your http protocol architecture so we have the top layer http then we have the tls then we have a tcp then we have ip protocol layer then we have l2 and l1 how this will work so your http will request and response protocol that would run between client and server so this protocol HTTP is carried over TCP to ensure reliable transmission. Like in HTTP older one, basically they carried over the transport protocol, but in HTTP2 it carried over the TCP only. So 3GPP is working on that, how they can use Q in this part actually. So 3GPP is discussing over HTTP with the Q so that 
we can uh, provide better services and we can overcome of the TCP problems actually. So right now they are not working. Maybe in the release 16, Quick will come to the network actually. Then that time. So with the help of uh, Quick in HTTP, we can provide better services and that will come we can see in the release 16 actually. So this is your uh, complete uh, service based interface protocol architecture. So this one, so JSON, what is JSON? So JSON is basically adopted as serialization protocol. What is HTTP2? So HTTP2 adopted as application layer protocol for the service based interface. TCP right now adopted as transport layer protocol, but in future, maybe it will change to the QIC. So what is the benefit for the QIC? So benefit of the QIC is that binary encoding like CBOR and also other aspect that will uh, provide in the future release actually. So these are the benefits for the this service based interface protocol actually. Now we can see that we have a two, uh, two different uh, protocol interface. One is HTTP 1.1 and one is HTTP 2. So what is the difference actually between these two? So HTTP 1.1 is normal uh, the protocol baseline one that is called baseline one. So this one we are using for the browsing in the web web application transporting API call and responses widely deployed lot of expense huge developer community HTTP 2 basically evolution of the HTTP 1.1 this is already deployed this we are using for the text and the binary encoding and with the help of a JSON we can use so HTTP 2 also has benefit of header compression stream multiplexing flow control so these are the benefit for the HTTP 2 thank you guys thank you so much